Good evening everyone and welcome to 2021 Student-Led Teaching Awards. If you didn't know, my name is Bilal and I'm the current president of Greenwich Students' Union. And I'm delighted to be hosting Student-Led Teaching Awards tonight. For the second year in a row, we're choosing to prioritize your safety by hosting an online award ceremony. Thank you for joining us from home. We will try and celebrate what has undoubtedly been a difficult and challenging year for all our staff and students. We are hopefully approaching to the end of the pandemic. While I would have loved to have been celebrating tonight with you all in Dreadnought Building, we will once more gather around our screens and live stream to celebrate nonetheless. We are streaming on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page, and your comments may appear on the live show. So please get involved and show your appreciation for all the Charlotte's staff tonight. Before we begin the main awards, I'm pleased to introduce the university's vice chancellor, Professor Jane Harrington, who will be saying a few words. Hello everyone, and a massive welcome to this year's student-led teaching awards. Now, it would be wrong, wouldn't it, if I didn't actually just say something about how dramatically different this year has been. I, we can't underestimate the effect that it's had on all of you and that's students and staff. For all of you staff, you've had to make amazing changes and work unbelievably hard actually to really reach out to all of your students. And for all of the students here, you've really had to adapt and become incredibly resilient. So it makes it even more special that this evening we're really celebrating the amazing, wonderful staff at Greenwich. The absolutely unbelievable efforts that you've made to teach and support our students, to be innovative, to be supportive, and importantly, to be resilient and to help the students to be resilient. So a massive congratulations to all the nominees. Now the students have really appreciated your efforts this year. And I can tell you that because there were 775 nominations across the board, which is more than ever, which is absolutely unbelievable. And a massive thank you to the GSU and the officers for organising this event and for organising such a wonderful online event that makes everyone feel so important and special. Thank you so much for that. Now we are celebrating online. I hoped last year we wouldn't be this time, uh, this year, but we are. But I am ever more optimistic that, but that we are really close now to returning to campus and that next year we'll be back celebrating the student-led teaching awards in person and I'll be able to come along and see everybody win their prizes. So have a great evening, sit back and thank you so much to everyone. Thank you, Jane, for continuing to support the SLC year and for your words this evening. It is always great to celebrate our partnership and collaboration. So, who is ready to celebrate some amazing university staff? The live version of me is reading your comments in the YouTube stream. Please do let us know where you're watching from this evening and cheer on our shortlistees and nominees as we go. Good evening. It's great to be able to join you for the Student-Led Teaching Awards. If we've not had the chance to meet, I am Maya and I am one of the four GSU officers and I studied at the Medway campus. The first set of awards tonight will be faculty-based. This means there is one winner per faculty for each award. The categories are the Lecturer of the Year, Supervisor of the Year, Outstanding Personal Tutor of the Year and the Inspirational Teaching Award. During the awards announcements, I'll be live to welcome our winners onto the call, if they so wish to. So get ready for a great outfit reveal. To present the first four awards are some of our excellent student panelists. They are Lydia, Sharifa, Vicky, Babatunde and Chloe. Hello! The first award of the evening is for Lecturer of the Year. This award is for those second to none members of teaching staff who really embody what it means to be a lecturer at Greenwich. 
The nominees for the business school are Dr. Yakan Jan, Lily Yan, Jessica Templeton, and Ian Witten. And the winner is Yakan Jan. Yakan was nominated for maintaining a great connection with her students. She is always providing examples, providing examples to give her lectures interesting. interesting. One of the reasons, One of the reasons find her students find her so effective. Well done, Yakan. Hi, th is this my turn to talk, talk about this? Yes, hello, Yakan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, do you want to tell us a few things? Congratulations, by the way. Oh, thank you. I, I'm totally surprised. I really didn't expect this. And I just want to say thank you for all of our hardworking colleagues and our amazing students this year, especially the uh, third year student that I'm teaching. I mean, the teaching, the whole teaching process, teaching and learning is a kind of co-creation process. The sessions wouldn't be that interesting without their input and engagement and interaction with the lectures. So. Um, and I also see like um, uh, improvement in terms of their academic performance this year, especially for the third year students. And I can totally see that they're ready to embrace a brighter future after they graduate from Greenwich. So thank you. Thank you so much. And massive congratulations from us at GSU. Thank you for all that you do for students. We appreciate you. Thank, thank you. you. The nominees for Faculty of Education, Health and Human Science are Bonnie Kerr, Dr. Oliver Robinson, Gemma Bowden, and Lee Jagodzinski. And the winner is Lee Jagodzinski. Lee was chosen for being infectiously passionate about his knowledge and help his students gain his confidence out in the field. Despite changes to assessments due to COVID, Lee continued to make sure his teaching remained impactful. Congratulations, Lee! Amazing. Congratulations, Lee. Lee will be joining us tonight via video. Um, so let's send our support. I can already see some support going on in the comments. Let's continue sending our support for our first winner um, from the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences in the chat section. While we just wait. While, while we wait for Lee, um, I'll just say Lee is a senior lecturer in the children in children's nursing. Uh, nursing and midwifery at Greenwich is number one in London for satisfaction with teaching according to the Guardian League table 2021. Um, right now, we're, uh, we'll just we'll just move on to the next person as Lee is currently unable to join us. Thank you. Congratulations, Lee. The nominees for Faculty of Engineering and Science are Dr. Julia Getty, Dr. Lauren Pecorino, Elia Esop, and Yorgos Kyrgsaglu. And the winner is Lauren Pecorino. Lauren was nominated for the way she has made typically hard and complicated subjects easy to digest and understand. Her patience with students in online classes hasn't gone unnoticed, making her lectures great for studying from home. Well done, Lauren! What a lovely, hello Lauren, what a lovely reason to give this award out. Thank you so much. Clearly, it means a lot to our students. Um, do you have a few words you'd like to share with us tonight? 
Thank you very much. It's the greatest reward for a teacher to be acknowledged by their students. And I am honored to get this award. Um, I from especially for these exceptional resilient students studying during this historic time. Uh, so I just extend a, a heartfelt thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. The nominees for Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences are Elaine Williams, Jerome Chan, Dr. Richard Wilde, and Dr. Hannah Lamin. And the winner is Elaine Williams. Elaine Elaine was said to be, on more than one nomination, the best lecturer in this university. She was said to have been kind, supportive and engaging through her teaching. Students are mostly grateful for her positivity, especially during this difficult year. Congratulations, Elaine! Congratulations, Dr. Elaine. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Do you have a few words to share with us? Hi, I do. I'm just, uh, I can't believe it, first of all. It's just amazing news. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say congratulations to all the other nominees because it's been such a tough year and we genuinely are all winners tonight. And to my students, my goodness, my students, I just want to say um, it was you, it was you that made the teaching incredible this year. Uh, every week you came with so much energy, the comments, the gifts, the memes, the jokes, uh, the vibes were immaculate and uh, I thank you so much for just being part of this with me and um, I'll see you all soon, I can't wait, thank you. Thank you so much Elaine and congratulations once again. Thank you. The second award of the night is for Supervisor of the Year. This award is for personal dissertation or research supervisor who has been an instrumental part of student successes. They are highly skilled in resolving a range of issues and offering excellent development opportunities for students. The nominees for the business school are Dr. Klirunk Hua Fero, Dr. Sven Kunzul, Dr. Crystal Sei, and Dr. Fatima Kawaf. And the winner is Sven Kunzul. Sven was chosen for being a highly experienced and inspiring supervisor who has helped his students overcome various challenges. He is said to have gone above and beyond to help his students excel in their fields. Very well done, Sven. Indeed, very well done, Sven. Congratulations. Unfortunately, um, Dr. Sven is unable to join us live tonight. Please pass on your messages of congratulations to him um, at, at, after the course of this event or now. A huge well done from all of us here at Greenwich Chance Union. Thank you for the amazing work that you do, Dr. Sven. I hope you're all enjoying watching the student-led teaching award so far. We are following your tweets tonight, so make sure to tag us at Greenwich SU um, so that we can share in your evening. I would love to know if you're dressed up for this event. As you can see, I'm clearly dressed up because I, I'm loving this. Um, if you're dressed up for this evening, if you've made a special drink to cheers with or who you're celebrating with, without further ado, at this point, let's carry on the awards for Supervisor of the Year. The nominees for the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences are Dr. Anna Samara, Dr. Maria Livia Bernardi, Scott Gaudi, and Dr. Sandy Pache. And the winner is Scott Gaudi. Scott was nominated by his students for always pushing them to stay motivated with their work. Students claim they would not have achieved as much as they have if it wasn't for Scott's support. He always prioritizes his students 
and for that is deserving of this award. Well done. Well done indeed, Scott. Thank you so much for all you've done for your students. Um, unfortunately, um, Scott is also not able to join us tonight, but it is, um, of course, related to COVID-19. Tonight, Scott is busy spending his evening working at a vaccination center. Let's take a moment to thank our student and staff members who have helped fight the pandemic. You can go ahead and do so in the, in the, in the comment section. Um, the University of Greenwich has been excellent in its response to support the fight against COVID um, with regular testing centers being available for both staff and students um, on all of our campuses. Thank you to every one of you who have shown that Greenwich cares this year. Okay, let's take a look at the next set of shortlistees. The nominees for the Faculty of Engineering and Sciences are Alia Essop, Dr. Peter Burt, Professor Colin Hills, and Professor Joshua Boating. And the winner is Joshua Boating. Joshua strives to make sure all his students felt comfortable and understood. His approachability and positive nature are evident in what he does and ensures he provides his knowledge at every point with his students. Very well deserved. Congratulations, Joshua. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, would you go ahead and share with us a few words, please? Yeah, um, so thank you very much to the to the students who nominated me. It was quite out of the blue, actually. So I'm really excited. I'm extremely grateful to win the, the award for Supervisor of the Year. And for me, it's exciting to see students develop um, from shy individuals, especially on day one at the induction in the first year. And then they become confident scientists in the final year, especially when I'm supervising their projects. And they go on their journey to become independent researchers and practitioners. And uh, stimulating students' learning and seeing them achieve their potential gives me so much joy and fulfillment uh, money cannot buy. So once again, thank you very much to the students, the students' unions. Here's to more celebrations in the future. Congratulations also to the other nominees and winners. I believe that together we shall make Greenwich great. So thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Congratulations okay. once again. The nominees for the Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences are Professor Derek Jaliff, Dr. Camille Stengu, John McLean, and Dr. Sarah Kilbane. And the winner is Camille Stengu. Camille was chosen for her commitment to her students. She always provided useful feedback and took time to ensure her students understood how to improve their work. In addition to this, her support for students and making sure to check in on them on a personal level was highlighted too. Congratulations, Camille. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Camille, and massive, massive congratulations. You can go ahead and share a few words with us tonight. Thanks, Maya. Uh, thanks to everyone who um, nominated me and all the other um, people who were nominated. I think everyone deserves credit for all the hard work we've done this year as supervisors, as lecturers, um, and the student union for doing all this. So thank you so much. And a special thanks to my dissertation students that I supervised this year. Shout out to Emma, Andrea, Rajitha, Tori, Vlad, Nicole, Sophie, and Nikki. Um, it's been a pleasure supervising you and here's to more celebrations in the future. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Hi everyone. I'll be presenting the Outstanding Personal Tutor Award. This award is for a personal tutor who is able to understand the challenges faced by their students, is able to accommodate their needs using effective communication and readily makes themselves available for their tutees. The nominees for the business school are Helen Koffler, 
Dr. Alexandra Strelini, Dr. Myrtle Emanuel, and Dr. Sven Kunzel. And the winner is Helen Koffler. Helen was chosen for going above and beyond her duties to support her students and provide direction for them. She has gone out of her way to create a bond with her tutees, even during this year of remote learning. Very well deserved, Helen. Very well deserved indeed. Thank you so much. Please go ahead and share a few words with us. Oh, thank you so much. This is a complete honour for me. It's my privilege and pleasure to be a personal tutor here at the University of Greenwich. It's amazing to be given an award for something that feels so natural to help and support our students. Congratulations to all the nominees for this award. Thank you to the Student Students Union. And finally, thank you to all our incredible students. I'll always do my absolute best for you. And this award means more to me than anyone could ever know. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Helen, means a lot. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful to be joined um, here by many of you amazing, amazing winners tonight. I would love to know where each of you are joining from, um, at home, office, campus, wherever you are, you can go ahead and tweet. Thank you. The nominees for the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences are Scott Gowdy, Heather Shackaday, Wendy Ainsworth and Angeliki Balu. And the winner is Wendy Ainsworth. Wendy was chosen for making online learning fun and enjoyable for her students and for looking after her students in and outside the classroom. Having travelled all the way to campus to deliver lectures at one point when her internet was down at home. She is literally the definition of above and beyond. Well done, Wendy. Wow, I nearly shed a tear right there. Thank you so much, Wendy. Going above and beyond, it, we, it means a lot. This period has been so difficult to everyone. Um, and clearly, as you've won today, students do appreciate you. Um, Wendy has been a senior midwifery lecturer since 2015. Prior to this, she was a senior uh, matron. Her students would like to thank her for all the work as an outstanding personal tutor of the year. Um, unfortunately, Wendy's also unable to join us today, but please go ahead and share your thank and congratulatory messages with her. Much appreciated. The nominees for Faculty of Engineering and Science are Sukhvinder Bamra, Dr. Abigail Rickard, Amy Austin, and Liza Jafar. And the winner is Abigail Rickard. Abigail was chosen for being a personal tutor who goes above and beyond for her students. She readily makes herself available to her students and offers useful advice to help them develop. She really is, as one student described her, a superstar. Well done, Abigail. What an amazing description, a superstar. Thank you so much and congratulations. Please go ahead and share a few words. Oh, thank you so much. It's absolutely wonderful just to have been nominated um, by the students um, and to recognise the tremendous amount of work that everybody's put in this year from the academic staff to the technical staff and professional services staff. Um, that really make everything that we do as personal tutors possible. Um, I am so proud uh, of every single one of my students and really honoured to be part of their journeys um, and to hear you know, everything that they succeed in whilst with us at Greenwich and beyond. Um, I really have to thank the students themselves. Uh, they've kept me together as much uh, this year as I hopefully have them. Uh, so thank you very much and congratulations to everybody that's been nominated. Congratulations, Abigail. I'm aware that you're celebrating 10 years at the university this year, so massive congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. The nominees for Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences are Dr. John Morton, 
Dr. Louise Awusu Kowating, Dr. Cecile Laval, and Professor Derek Jolliffe. And the winner is John Morton. John was chosen for being a constant source of advice and encouragement for his students. He provides care for students who need it and his tutees say they always look forward to his lectures and classes. Very well done, John. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, John. Please go ahead and share words with us. Thanks. This means an awful lot to me. Uh, I'm very, very proud. Um, tutoring is a really important part of my job and every uh, colleague's job at the university. Um, studying this year uh, has been pretty difficult, I think, for students in general. My tutees have coped very well, uh, but it's always really good uh, to be able to help. I'm very proud of all they've achieved this year. Um, and I want to also say congratulations to colleagues for their nominations and their wins. It's, it's a lovely event uh, and thanks. Thanks very much. Hopefully we can be in person next year. I'm in my home office at the moment, but still. <laughs> Hopefully. Thank you so much. And thank you for all that you do for students, John. Congratulations. Thanks. Hi, everyone. The final faculty based staff award of the evening is the Inspirational Teaching Award. This goes to an exceptional member of teaching staff who engages students through their expertise and passion in the subject. They make content interesting and relevant to their students, which in turn has a positive impact on student experience. The nominees for the business school are Emma Gates, Dr. Claire Hoon Owa Ferro, Dr. Gerald Christendel, and Lily Yan. And the winner is Dr. Gerald Christendel. Gerald won this award for his highly interactive teaching methods and the way he ensures all students are taught in a way that suits them. He offers constant support to his students, both around their studies, by inviting key guest speakers to lectures, and their future career plans by connecting them to industry experts via LinkedIn. Very well deserved, Gerald. Well, thank you so much. Definitely gone above and beyond for students, and clearly they appreciate you. Congratulations. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can, loud and clear. Okay. Thank you very much. I did not think I would win this because the competition was very strong. So thank you very much for this. Thank you very much to the students who nominated me and my students in general. Um, great students to teach, so it's actually easy to be their teacher. So thank you very much for this honor. Thank you. Thank you for all you do for students, Gerard. Congratulations and have a wonderful evening. Thank you and you. Thank you. The nominees for the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences are Dr. Sandy Pache, Dr. Damian Puta, Dr. Robert Morgan, and Yemi Onilude. And the winner is Yemi Onilude. Yemi was chosen for her reassurance, kindness, and supportiveness. She ensures absolutely everyone feels welcome in her lectures. And according to her students, she's truly an inspiration to them all. Congrats, Yemi. Massive congratulations to you, Yemi. Thank you so much for all that you do for students. Um, yes, thank you so much for all that you do for students. Yemi joined the University of Greenwich in 2012. Before that, she was a community midwife at Queen Elizabeth Hospital here in Woolwich. Yemi also became a senior lecturer in 2014. Massive congratulations to you and thank you so much for all that you do for students. The nominees for Faculty of Engineering and Science are Catherine Dewsbury, Aliyah Isuk, 
Dr. Abigail Reichard, and Dr. Mohamed El Suri. And the winner is Alia Isup. Alia's nominations were filled with gratitude from her students. They commented on how she was always willing to be a helping hand, kept everyone motivated during a particularly tough year, and encouraged her students to be proud of themselves. Her dedication didn't go unnoticed, and she's very much deserving of this award. Congrats, Alia! Oh, massive, massive, massive congratulations to you, Aliyah. Unfortunately, Aliyah is also unable to join us to accept this award tonight. However, please go ahead and drop her congratulation messages in the comment section. And of course, you can drop her an email or message, whichever as well. A huge well done on your win, Aliyah. It was really well deserved. This event will, of course, be available to watch back later. Um, so if you know anyone who would like to watch it, please direct them to our YouTube channel and they would be able to watch it on there. We have just one more faculty left in this award category. So let's go. The nominees for faculty of liberal arts and sciences are Dr. Matthew Jones, Dr. Louis Owusu Kwateng, Gertrude Amra, and Dr. Emily Critchley. And the winner is Dr. Louis Owusu Kwateng. Louis received a huge number of nominations for this award. She has constantly been checking in on her students' mental health and trying to cheer them up whenever they needed it. Her stories and depth of knowledge is amazing and it's clear she loves to learn from her students just as much as they do from her. Our inspiring teaching and ability to keep everyone engaged makes it very clear how much it deserves this award. Well done, Louise. A big congratulations to you, Louise. You. Very well deserved. Thank you so much for all that you do for students. Clearly, they appreciate it. And for anyone who's joined us today, Louise also won um, an award in 2019. She won the Inspirational Teaching Award at the SLTA 2019. We would like to hear from you, Louise. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I was well chuffed when I was nominated. I would just like to say, I'm just gonna tell you as it is, my students are absolute Gs. Like, you know, they keep me going just as, you know, I, they, give, they give to me. It's a two-way process and everything. So I'd like to thank them so, so, so much. I'd like to thank my colleagues, like, you know, my family, you know, everybody. And, you know, to the student union, you've done fantastically under this difficult situation. So you're all Gs. And I just need to give you one of these, an STMB. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Louise. Thank, Thank you also lot. for your kind words and massive congratulations. Make sure you enjoy Thank your evening tonight. Oh, I'm going to. I'm going to. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. Leah, Sharifa, Vicky, Babatunde, and Chloe for that. We will now move on to the first break of the evening. We would like to use this time to highlight all the key projects that bring GSU and the university closer together. All the work is done is to better represent Greenwich students and make sure their experience is a great one. I will be touching on some key representation projects that GSU has been working on this year, further highlighting how students are at the center of what we do here at Greenwich. BAME Award and GAP and Inclusivity Work. Inclusivity consultants are paid student staff working for Greenwich Students Union. Their work is directly related to the ongoing Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic BAME Award and GAP project across the university and they seek to help staff with diversifying their teaching practices. Consultants can provide consultations to staff to advise them on inclusive practices, facilitating focus groups with students and give a student perspective on their current practices. The consultants can also review materials such as course handbooks, module guides, assessment instructions and online materials. 
as well as giving feedback to academics on how to develop materials for courses. Consultants are available for staff who would like them to support them on the inclusivity of their programme. If you are interested in working with them, please contact Inclusivity Consultants at greenwich.ac.uk. Academic Communities Part of our representation work is the Academic Communities Project. Despite a difficult year for engagement, we still saw 65 Academic Communities events, staff and student-led, with 918 sign-ups in total. We also hosted various consultation groups, helping us to better understand what it means to be a mature student, student parent, and a, or a placement-based student. This information helps us to tailor our online events specifically for our diverse student body. We have worked alongside teaching staff to collaborate on projects that are aimed at breaking down barriers to engagement within their school. Together, through action plans, we're able to tailor interventions and engagement touch points for specific cohorts. The primary education cohorts have lots of parents, so we created a virtual family quiz night that was well attended and positively reviewed. We look forward to further collaboration with teaching staff to produce engaging and interactive events for all of our students. If you're interested in running an event for your cohort, then please do not hesitate to contact us via the reps at gre.ac.uk inbox and a member of the team will organise the meeting with you. Representation Strategy This year, the representation team have been rolling out the new representation strategy. We have refocused GSU's efforts at ensuring that students continue to be at the heart of decision making and change from a programme level and upwards. We have trialled a new level of representation at a school level and have strengthened programme committee meetings alongside faculty colleagues and the directors of student experience too. If you have never been on our university staff hub, head to greenwichsu.co.uk forward slash GSU hub and you will find a list of resources including our representation strategy, how to book GSU spaces and our staff contact Liberation Networks. This year has seen the launch of the Student Liberation Networks. This focus on addressing and supporting students facing additional barriers whilst at the university and in society. These networks are managed by paid student staff and guided by the students they represent. From the next academic year, they will be led by elected chairs. These networks represent LGBTQ+, BAME, women, and students with disabilities. They work to create safe spaces, educate and train students to be campaigners. Importantly, they collaborate on intersection programs and share in their expertise and passions. The aim is clear, it is to help our members shape the world around them and to make it a safer, kinder and more just society. Thanks Mayo for taking us through all the amazing work. Now we will be moving on to the Individual Staff Award. Each of these will be awarded to one winner across all faculties and departments. To present these awards, we are joined again by our great students from the shortlisting panels. Hi there. The first category is Student Support Services Award for a team. This is awarded to non-academic staff who have gone above and beyond to ensure our students receive the best possible experience. The nominees for Student Support Services Team Award are Student Wellbeing Services and the IT Support Service. And the winner is Student Wellbeing Services. Nominations for the Wellbeing team commented on their constant and intensive support they have given students over the years. Many students say they have continued on with their studies purely because of the support they have received from the team. Amazing work and very well done to the team. Amazing work. Thank you so much um, to the Wellbeing Services team. And of course, we're joined here tonight 
by um, Pauline Mark Fallin, who is the head of Student Wellbeing Services, to accept the award. Over to you, Pauline. Good evening, Mayor, and good evening to everyone that's um, watching. It's amazing. Thank you so much. You know, it's it has been a very difficult year for all of us, and I'm just so proud of my team. You know, I'd like to start by thanking the students who took the time out of their busy study schedule just to nominate and to vote for us and for the kind words that you've expressed. Very much appreciated. I want to really acknowledge the, um, the commitment and dedication of my team. Um, you know, they've supported students, um, especially through these um, the COVID pandemic and, you know, it's been very challenging and, and it's, they've literally risen to the challenge, you know, we've all experienced challenges as students and staff and I'm just so proud to be leading such a dynamic and talented and dedicated team. I just want to give a shout out and to say thank you to Chris Shelley and Sarah Ragab for the continuous support and championing the work that we do. Everyone's a winner. Congratulations to all the nominees and thank you so much for this fantastic award. Oh, massive congratulations, Pauline, and to the rest of your team. Thank you so much for all that you do for students. It is indeed a very, very, very vital aspect of student experience and Clearly, as you've won today, it shows that it means a lot to our students. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. This award is also for student support services, but for an individual member of staff who has worked hard to support students at Greenwich. The nominees for the Student Services Award for an individual are Agneska Hurdan, Melanie Thorley, and Lucy Smith. And the winner is Melanie Thorley. Melanie was chosen for being passionate about accessibility and inclusivity and being a much-needed source of support for many students. Her work on building the STAART team is a shining example of her commitment to making students with disabilities feel part of the Greenwich community. Congratulations, Melanie! Massive congratulations to Melanie Thorley, Dr. Melanie Thorley, um, and the entire team. Um, Dr. Melanie has led the accessibility team since it was introduced into the university since uh, August 2007, um, which many of us now know as START. START supports students, both current and prospective students who have um, a disability, a long-term health condition, specific learning um, difficulty, a mental health condition, and so much more. And this, this the, the services that they provide is very essential and very, you know, helpful for our students and clearly they appreciate it. So congratulations and thank you. Finally, we have the Extra Mile Award. As the name states, this award is for a member of staff who has well and truly exceeded expectations when it comes to what they've done for their students. This award is to recognize all the hard work they put in throughout the year. The nominees for the Extra Mile Award are Dr. Michael Talbot, Jerome Chan, Dr. Richard Wilde, and Dr. Louise owusu -Kwating. And the winner is Jerome Chan. Jerome was chosen for his ability to ask for feedback from students on how to adapt to his teaching. He transitioned from in-person to online teaching very effectively and always makes sure his communication is quick and effective. This is something his students are extremely grateful for. His constant support for his cohort hasn't gone unnoticed. Our nominations show he has made life-changing impacts on students' lives. Very well deserved, Jerome. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Congratulations, Jerome, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. You can go ahead now. Yes, 
Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Mayor. I just want to say uh, thank you, everyone, okay, who has actually put in the hard work. It's not just the students, okay, it's this member staff, the university, the support staff, everyone, okay. That's that's how we are GRE. Okay, let's make Greenwich great again. I just want to say, okay, massive thank you for everyone, okay, and to those people who have supported us and entire entire university. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us tonight. Do enjoy your evening and congratulations once again. We will be going back to Melanie Thorley right now because I know a lot of us would love to have her live with us. Um, there were a bit of technical difficulties, but now we have her live with us. Congratulations, Melanie, over to you. Uh, thank you, Mayo. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, I'm not often speechless, as you know, but I... The technology's gone a little bit mad, so <laughs> I would like to say thank you. It's, I don't know what's going on. Um, thank you. I'm delighted. It is definitely... What a year it's been. Everyone's experiencing technical difficulties, but thank you so much. We can hear you, so we're here. Um, I wanted to say thank you to all of my lovely ambassadors and graduates. And my colleagues. And the people who voted for me. Um, and because I'm at home, this is the first time I've been able to have a glass of wine at these awards because normally I have to drive. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. And thank you for making the effort to join us today. We appreciate you. The students appreciate you. And thank you for all that you do. Congratulations and enjoy your wine. <laughs> again to our fantastic student hosts for presenting the individual awards. We will now be having another break from the award announcements and highlighting how our students have built a thriving virtual community. We're also celebrating our fantastic community of program and faculty reps who have fulfilled their roles to a high level this year and continue to provide vital student awards and representation for their enforcement. After a confusing start to the year, our academic societies adapted their offer as quickly as possible to make sure their members didn't feel isolated while studying from home. Societies began to utilise Teams, Zoom and other online platforms to host events to keep everyone connected. This ranged from guest speaker seminars with industry experts to well-being and workshops to support students' mental health. Feeling part of a community has always been a key part of our academic society's ethos and their role in achieving this has never been more vital. 
She and group leaders have been able to keep up the momentum this year. Compared to this time last year, we have three more academic societies. Currently, we have 33 academic based societies with 2,149 memberships in total. Only 168 memberships less than this time last year. Wow. Thanks to Mayo for representing what it means to be a student group and how much of a difference it can make to our student experience. This quite nicely leads into the final segment of the evening, our student awards. These recognize our student representatives, leaders, who alongside their own studies take up roles to improve student experience for their peers and community. These awards are presented by our student panel. Good evening all. The first student award of the night is for Programme Rep of the Year. This student has positively fulfilled their role as a Programme Representative by successfully representing their peers and course on a local and departmental level. The nominees for the Business School are Saffron Wingad, Rashmi Kuchar and Maria Matal Rakao. And the winner is Rashmi Kuchar. Rashmi was chosen for showing extraordinary leadership skills and representing her peers, even on difficult issues. She makes sure to get feedback from all students on her course and is always keen to make changes that benefit everyone. Well done, Rashmi. Big congratulations, Rashmi, our first student winner for tonight. Um, before I hand over to Rashmi, I'd just like to ask are any of Rashmi's lecturers here. If you are, please let us know. <laughs> Type away in the comments, let us know. Um, over to you, Rashmi, congratulations. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm at the library, so I'm, I have to keep my mask on. Uh, this, oh, thank you. <laughs> This entire process has been very unexpected and this nomination itself was a massive surprise and obviously just winning something for some, winning an award for something you think is just the normal thing to do and under these circumstances, it's just incredible. Uh, I would like to congratulate all the nominees and winners tonight to, to begin with. Uh, it has been an incredibly unique year, particularly for students, and I'm just so glad that I've had the opportunity to represent my uh, cohort. And it, it's been an absolute pleasure being a program rep. And uh, it's it's not only because <laughs> of uh, sorry, it's someone's trying to come in. Uh, it's not not just because uh, of how engaging all my classmates have been but also because how immensely responsive and understanding the faculty has been this year so I would, I would like to thank Dr Song who is our program leader uh, for this opportunity and thank you very much ESU for this one for this honor.
Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, like you said, it's been an incredibly difficult year, but the fact that you went the extra mile to ensure that the students on your course had a great turn experience, you really do deserve this award. So congratulations. I can Thank see, you. <laughs> I can see some comments. I'm loving the comments in the comment section. Let's keep it going. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The nominees for the Faculty of Education, Health and Human Sciences are Nazima Ahmed and Grace Gunn. And the winner is Nazima Ahmed. Nazima was chosen for being a rock and a point of safety for her course mates this year. She's worked hard together with other programme reps on the course to make this year as easy as possible for everyone. Her peers wholeheartedly hope she continues into the role next year. Congratulations, Nazima. Oh, what a, nom what, a, what a thing to be nominated for. I took that out, a rock and a point of safety for her peers. Thank you so much, Nazima. Unfortunately, Nazima is unable to join us today, but please go ahead and congratulate her in the comments as you're already doing. And of course, Nazima, if you're watching this back after today, I am sending you a big well done and a massive congratulations. Thank you for your work as a program rep this year. You are a credit to your course. Congratulations. The nominees for Faculty of Engineering and Science are Babatunde Akinro Demi, Natalia Yakub, Manuela Carnegie, and Vinay Nikum. And the winner is Manuela Carnegie. Manuela has been a constant figure to represent her postgraduate peers at various levels with her faculty. She has worked hard to maintain good communication between staff and students and took care to ensure every student's issue was dealt with properly. Very well deserved, Manuela. Really well deserved, Manuela, and just goes to show the importance and how valuable program reps are to, are to each and every course. Congratulations, Manuela, over to you. Thank you so, so much. Um, it is an extreme pleasure to be here. Thank you for the nomination. And it's, it goes without saying that it has been a very hard year and it was really difficult to carry out research. Um, so for PhD students, this has been a very struggling year. Uh, I would like to thank the NRI staff, RETI, and of course, um, the student union for their constant support that they helped us uh, overcome this very hard time. And thank you, thank you, thank you. It has been such a pleasure and I am so happy for winning this award. It really means a lot. And um, it's nice to know that all the hard work actually uh, was appreciated. So thank you. Amazing, massive congratulations from me and I'm sending you a big well done. Enjoy your evening. Thanks. The nominees for Faculty of Liberal Arts and Science are Andrea Souza Fernandez, Chloe Family, Sarah Ahmed, and Sindija Sezuka. And the winner is Sindija Sezuka. Sindija received nominations for this award for her proactiveness, being a mother hen figure and providing excellent communication channels for staff and students. She takes every student's concerns into consideration and looks for positive outcomes for all situations. Congrats, Sindija. Here's another amazing nomination, a mother hand figure. What a way to put it. Thank you so much for all that you've done for the students on your course. Over to you. Um, thank you. And thank you so, so much to anyone who nominated me and a massive shout out to all of my peers and everyone in my course who has made this year absolutely brilliant. I think none of us expected to actually have such great bonds and great friendships um, come out during lockdown. Um, so it's been a real pleasure. And thank you so, so much to all of my lecturers who have made this even better. And um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's been wonderful. It's been amazing to congratulate, congratulate all of the amazing program reps tonight. And this is our final one for the Faculty of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Thank you. Lastly, we have the Academic Society of the Year Award. This student group has made an outstanding contribution to their field of study by providing a social and academic hub for their members. They have actively involved themselves in the academic community project at GSU and work to engage more students. The nominees for Academic Society of the Year are Marketing Society, Doctoral Society, Bar Society, and criminology. And the winner is Bar Society. The Bar Society were chosen for this award for the pivotal role they played in keeping students connected during lockdown. They spent their free time organizing extracurricular talks and online events to build their members' confidence and help them gain key knowledge to help with their future careers. They've remained active on social media and their dedication is noted by their members. Well done, Barsock. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well done to our wonderful Barsock. Um, our, the, the president of Barsock is currently unable to join us tonight, but I'm sending you a big well done, congratulations. Thank you for all that you did to ensure that, you know, you provided a community for students in this difficult time. Of course, the Bar Sock is open to any students who wish to pursue a career in, in um, as, as a barrister. So go on our website, go on their social media and reach out to them. You'll be able to join their team. Thank you all so much for joining us on this live event. I have really enjoyed hosting and a big congratulations again to all nominated, shortlisted, and all who are reading and commenting. Congratulations, I really enjoyed it. Remain blessed. I have the pleasure to introduce Professor Jane Roscoe, the Deputy Vice-Chancellor, to say a few words. Jane joined us earlier this year and this is her first student-led teaching award. Congratulations to all of you shortlisted today. What a fantastic achievement. The student-led teaching awards are an opportunity to showcase your talent, celebrate your commitment and of course, recognize excellence in teaching and learning. It's been quite a week of celebrating excellence. Yesterday, we had the Greenwich Research and Enterprise Awards. I'm so proud to be working at a university with such an abundance of talent. I joined the university in late February. It's been quite a strange experience joining during lockdown but I've been amazed at how quickly I've been able to build relationships, meet people and get to know the university. I've visited all three campuses, including getting a look at student accommodation and the student union locations. I've managed to meet some students and I've already started working with the Greenwich Student Union. I'm really impressed with this collaboration uh, the way that the university and the union are able to work together. I'm looking forward to working with you all on our new strategy too. And over the next few months, seeing more of you on our campuses. For now, stay well and see you soon. That concludes the awards for the night and for this academic year. Congratulations to all the nominees, shortlisted and the winners a massive thank you. I would also like to take up a little bit more of your time to thank the people who have supported the award. Lale Williams and her team for their constant support with the development of SLTA as a collaborative event that celebrates staff. Stephanie Robinson for supporting with the communication as well as highlighting the key quotes from students through One Voice, One University campaign. I would also like to give a special shout out to all our non-teaching, non-professional staff this year who have kept the campus running 
during the pandemic, I have worked to ensure the campus have always remained clean, secure, and safe. Together, we have shown that Greenwich cares. Thank you to everyone who has adopted their teaching and service this year. Whether that be in person or online, we recognize how difficult it has been. Once more, a thank you to our student panelists and presenters. To all of you who have tuned in tonight, stay safe, have a lovely rest of your evening, and goodbye.